Welcome class. This video is to explain the homework assignment associated with the Mechatronics MEC 3400 course for week one. After receiving a couple questions about how to complete this assignment effectively, I have begun this video in order to help you understand what the main goals are for this assignment. To begin with, we're going to hop onto my shared screen here. I'm gonna be on my desktop. I'll show you how to complete this assignment quickly. So we'll start here on desktop two. What you'll notice about desktop two is that it's my just normal screen. We're gonna hop online. The first thing you're asked to do is find the Mechatronics Circle. So simply searching for Mechatronics Circle will quickly get you to an image search and find what you need. I do not care which one of these mechatronic circles you use, but we are looking for these Venn diagram-like circles. Let's go ahead and choose one. This is what you're gonna base it on. At this point, I wanna point out the next main point of the assignment was to find a job for each one of these disciplines. So you have your main disciplines and your sub-disciplines. So keep track of what you're finding. You're finding jobs for these disciplines. Note, I did not ask you to tie the jobs on this version of the circle to the existing disciplines. So if you submit a version of this that is, hey, uh, xerography ties to these, that's not gonna get you credit for this assignment. Now, how to find those. The easiest way to find those is to simply visit a place called ONET. Now, ONET is not the only place you can find this information. Google search may work. There are several different versions of this, especially if you're taking these classes overseas. There may be a version of this put out by your federal government regarding what is available in your country. However, ONET is the United States Department of Labor's website that allows us to quickly track what kind of occupations are available and their outlooks. So say that one of our disciplines happened to be mechanical CAD. You can search mechanical cat on here. And this will lead you to a list of positions. Notice over 324 job titles are associated with the mechanical cat skill, meaning that this particular skill from our circle is tied to all of these different disciplines. So let's choose civil drafter here. If you look at Civil Drafter, it gives you a basic task, what technology is needed. Notice the use of CAD software. What knowledge skills are needed, as well as what your work activities would look like. One of the key things it includes is an education range. So you can find what kind of education is necessary, as well as wages and employment. Now note, once again, this is a US-based website, so not perfectly matched towards your particular country for those of you that are overseas. But you can look up both state and national trends here on this site. So for example, I can look up employment trends for Kansas. It does the work, pulls up the information, it gives me the national level, so we can see that there is a general decrease in the need for civil drafters in the United States and a similar, although not quite as large, decrease in the state of Kansas. With that being said, if you were to graduate, there are about 10 openings located in Kansas estimated for this upcoming year. This gives you a basic idea of where you can find the information you need to complete this homework for the first week of the Mechatronics MEC 3400 class. By combining this information into either a Word document, PowerPoint, or simply putting together a document that you can then turn into a PDF, you can submit the information you need for this class through the link on Blackboard. So once again, you can always click on Blackboard to submit your assignments. Once your Blackboard loads, you'll be able to click on the place where the assignment was given. 
apologize. Right now mine appears not to be loading. You can click on the place where the assignment was given. From there, you can scroll down and submit. Hopefully this helps you keep track of what is due for this week's assignment. If you have any further questions, do not be afraid to email me through Blackboard Messages or to get a hold of me through the phone. I will try to answer those as quickly as possible. Once again, unless I have a meeting which could pull me away from that particular day, I should be available during my posted hours located under the Start Here menu. Thank you. Have a great day.